Ja, du kanske dumt skjut nu. Jag tycker om att du trycker på med här. Ja, här är det mina sönder. still games and customs which hark back to the very first games ever played by man. These have not been preserved as museum pieces. They thrive not only because they're worth keeping, but because they're fun. Tradition, after all, can be fun. What could be greater fun than turning the streets of your town into one seething public football pitch? That's what the citizens of Atherston near Birmingham do every year at Shrove time. There is no book of rules to bother these footballers. The scrimmage dates from the 13th century when King John threw down a bag of gold. Nowadays, a football takes the place of King John's bag of gold, and whoever holds it at five o'clock in the evening is entitled to collect with it at all the local inns. The winner is somewhere under this lot. Now a kind of lawn billiards called Mel, a favorite pastime of King Charles II, still played at Hampstead. King Charles Court probably used the Frenchified name for it, Pai Mai, when they played it close by the Royal Palace at St. James. A name that still remains in London, the famous Pall Mall. This lawn behind the Freemasons' arms is said to be the only Mel gaming court left. But the ancient royal game flourishes there, and who can say that it won't spread? Ever played marbles? It's a boys' game in England, but grown-ups take it seriously at Tinsley Green in Surrey where the annual competition is held at the back of the Greyhound Inn. The game that man and boy, mostly boy, have played since the dawn of history. But rarely with more concentration than that shown by these adult champions of the 20th century performing to a gallery of youthful veterans of the game. The Coopers, who make the beer barrels of Britain, belong to a fraternity 400 years old. And this is their initiation ceremony for apprentice Coopers. They call it Trussing the Cooper. The young Cooper has served his apprenticeship and built his barrel. He's showered with oak shavings still hot from the fire. The traditional pail of water is meant to relieve his discomfort. A couple of mugs of beer traditionally give him courage. Well and truly trust he'll be an apprentice no longer. Trussing done, he must be well and truly tossed. So they served their apprentices in medieval Britain. 